Hey nerds, Amy here. Today we are going to learn seven shortcut keys to help you filter data in Excel more efficiently. All right, let's nerd out. Okay, so today at Amy's Animal Barn and Petco, we are going to analyze our annual purchases that we made last year from our various suppliers. The first shortcut key that we are going to take a look at is alt then you'll see that that gives a corresponding number to each of the tabs at the top in this instance we are going to press a to go to the data tab which is where the filter settings are from the ribbon on the top you can see that if we press t so alt a t then we will get the filter drop down menu in our data set at the top now the second filter is quite simple it's going to be the exact same that we just did and that will clear the filter settings that we have. So once again, if we go Alt A T, then that clears the filter drop down menus at the top of our data set. Okay, so the third shortcut key that we are going to use is press Alt and then the down arrow key and that brings up this awesome menu. The fourth one is we can simply use the arrows to navigate up and down this area. So in this instance, let's sort the suppliers by alphabetical. Uh, so we will do A to Z and just press enter. Okay, so now let's say that we just want to filter the state and province column to just show British Columbia. So we have the filter there. And if once again, we just press all down, then that brings up this um, option menu. So continuing to scroll down, we will now learn our fifth shortcut key. And if we want to deselect all, then we simply just press the space bar on select all. Then we can scroll down to British Columbia, hit the space button and hit enter. And there we have it. We have now filtered just British Columbia. Now we just want to filter through Washington. So here we go. Alt down arrow and let's navigate down and hit select all by hitting the space bar. Now we can just continue to scroll down to Washington here using the arrow keys. However, if you do have a ton of data, then that might just be a little bit much. So what you can simply do is just press the end key and that will bring you right to Washington. And the last shortcut key that we are going to explore is say you don't actually want to search Washington. We will once again hit the space bar, but we want to view all. So let's just hit the home button and that brings us back to the top. And if we had hit the space bar one more time, then that selects all of them and we can hit enter to view all of our data. Okay, so that wraps up this video and I do hope that I have helped you learn how to filter your data more efficiently in Excel. I also hope that I have helped you discover your inner nerd along the way. Once again, if you do like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. If you've got ideas for future videos, then please just pop those in the comments below. Thanks for nerding out with me. We'll see you again.